Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. We're Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermitson Crafting. And we're flying right over the big dig where, in our last episode, we built out the communications and command center for the big dig project now down in this giant hole is where we are going to be working today by building the massive drill even some may even call it the mega drill that will make our dreams of entering the nether and pumping out all of those amazing resources down in the new 1.16 nether and we'll make some shops in the shopping district it's going to be absolutely fantastic but before we get started today because not only are we going to build the drill today but we also have an election to win today. Today is the day that the results will come in. So super excited about that. But for now, let's go get some TNT. Floating on down to the Graper Farm that Green and I built some time ago. And it definitely looks like a episode two farm. And we need to update this thing and make it a little bit more convenient so we don't have to actually have to come down to the lower maintenance level and maybe bring the resources up via an item elevator or something along those lines or just even a convenient way of going up and down because that's a one-way water stream right there. But anyway, let's grab some gunpowder, make ourselves some boom boom TNT. Three stacks of TNT and maybe a premature detonation and we are now ready to go that's three stacks and it is looking menacing down there now the reason we're doing this is so that we can open the hole up a little bit more so we can fit our massive drill bit into it oh no not this again <laughs> oh that was so close hey, hold on let's hit the closer one How did I miss that? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this absolutely right. Okay, there we go. Run, there it goes. All oh, those creepers are going to blow up and that's gonna be wonderful. Come on, come on, big booms. Okay, that was uh, very, very anticlimactic. <laughs> we're gonna have to like manually light every one of these. <laughs> this is like a really bad firework show. I am really a discount boomer at this point, like seriously. <laughs> We should have just had them come over here. Next time we need to make a boom boom. We call in the real professionals, the boomers. <laughs> but anyway, we've got ourselves a hole just deep enough to get the tip of the drill into and then build it up from there, which I think is going to be absolutely amazing. Without an XP farm currently, this is my XP repair system is using all of my villagers. And to be honest, it actually works pretty cool and you're able to get quartz and different materials from it so it's a win-win four stacks of quartz and fully repaired tools and armor we are back here at the big dig and i think this is going to be fine as i said before um what i'm going to do now is plan out what the drill is going to look like what materials we're going to use for it and yeah i think i've got some pretty good ideas but i want to do a little bit of testing but until then it's time to head over to the shopping district because Everyone is getting together for the reveal of who's going to become the mayor. I don't think our chances are super high, but uh, we're going to show up. We're going to put a good face on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's head over now. Welcome, everybody, to, I guess, the announcement. I think this is like the first time I've seen this many people on the Hermitcraft server in front of me. And I'm... I'm Pretty, I'm pretty pleased to see so many mustaches in the in the audience today. <laughs> that's uh, that bodes well. Right, we've actually got quite a lot of uh, votes to get through, so I reckon we should crack on. Uh, first of all, we're going to announce who the winner is for dog catcher on the Hermitcraft server. Who voted Wait. for Daffy Duck? We <laughs> <laughs> um, can't win them all. Uh, there's another Joe. Um, okay. Joe Hills. Uh, Joe Hills. Joe Hills. Joe Hills. Joe Hills. Joe Hills and Joe. All right. Wow. That is Dude, that landslide space. victory, Joe. Good job, man. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Joe. Good job, Joe. Good job, Joe. Thank you, thank you, you all for catcher. trusting me to clear up this mess that I had nothing to do with. I will endeavor to get these dogs safely at the dog sanctuary as soon as possible. Did I miss the Thanos um, cosplay contest earlier? Or is it just... <laughs> hey, Scar, Scar, don't, that's not a good idea. Don't make fun of him, okay? Come on over here. All right, let's, let's go. So, right, uh, ready next to your, your polling candidate. The first vote is for stress. Ooh. The next one is for false. Oh, yeah. Good times with Scar. Yay. Ooh. Another, Ooh. another one for Scar. Oh, another one? Yes. 
Another one for false. Uh huh. Another Beautiful. for stress. Another for scar. Yes. Scar. Oh, Another yes. for scar. Ooh, oh man. Now. Stress. Uh oh. Another for scar. I'm shaking. Oh. Yes. I'm nervous. Oh, man. oh another, man, scar. Another for false. Uh huh. Another for stress. Oh. Another two for scar. Boom, oh, wow. Two. 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 For scar. Oh man. Oh. And another for stress, another for false, and then there's like four more scars. Oh, so. really? <laughs> congratulations, Scar! Uh, what? You are ah, the inaugural mayor of Hermitcraft. Congratulations, man! Wow, Wait, that was come out. And he's like, I'm out of here. Peace out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna be a good mayor or not. I didn't know I'd actually win. <laughs> what the heck? Congratulations, Scar! Congratulations. I'm so glad to take that mustache off. Congratulations, Scar. I think it's time for you to to sit on the throne. Take <gasps> take up take up the diamond throne. It's yeah. all yours. Can I you can I just have one it, second probably. alone just to lick the diamonds? Just one second. All right, everyone, turn around. Everyone, look away. Everyone, turn around. Just for a second. They're all mine. Oh, yeah, no, I changed my vote. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm it's good. I'm good. I got it outside yeah? of my system. Okay. I licked the diamonds. We're all good. You got it out of your system. That it, that makes it sound so much worse than it actually. The is. diamonds actually look seat. wet now. Okay. Thank this you. This is where I sit. Okay. That's where you sit. <laughs> my chief of staff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm the mayor. Now what? Speech. Speech. Um, hi, I'm the mayor. Um, I'm gonna make the shopping district really great looking. Okay, I'm done with my speech. Thank you. I'm embarrassed. Everyone's staring at me. Aww. <laughs> I could get used to the feeling of diamonds on my rear end. Isn't that right, B Dubs? Yeah, you deserve it. You are so deserving of this. <laughs> are you on your chair? You are on your chair. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. I appreciate this chair. What a gift. What a fine gift. It's Mayor. not the only gift. I have gifts for you. Therefore, okay. doing all the work to get me elected, especially when yeah. I was gone. All right. Yeah. I got firework rockets because I used up your fireworks <gasps> in our last meeting. Oh, you you remember you kept them. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I felt bad when you left. And then you had to oh, swim back to your house and it was a whole thing. I swam all the way back. Yes. Oh, my goodness. This is a fine gift. And wow. the best one. What's the best one? Full of diamonds, I'm sure. Oh, it actually is. Wait. Oh, let's split this. You no, and me. No, no, Come no, on. no. That's the campaign funds that we didn't need. And uh, the rest of it is all for you. Really? I mean, I, I have I have diamonds. Wow, you sure do, and you sure deserve them. <laughs> but you know, there, there you go. There, there's just a little appreciation. I'm sorry about taking your rockets. <laughs> oh, 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 Scar, I've never been this rich before. Oh. Never, never in Minecraft, never in all my years. I've been playing for ten years. It's the most diamonds I've ever had, ever. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Now, come this way. Come this way. It's not the only thing okay. that I have for you. Around mm -hmm. every corner, Big I have an office for you. You do? Yeah, stand right Where? here. Where? Stand right okay. here. Okay. Okay. There's your office. Oh. Oh, it's dark. I hate this office. There's bookshelves, <laughs> I guess. Look at I this. could study. You got music. Look at this. You get yeah. some tunes. You get some beats. <laughs> and you got your books right here. Look at it. Look at the books. I think that's... Oh, yes. This is actually going to be nice and cozy. A little, little comfort spot. I feel spot. A, a cold coming on, though. Uh, <laughs> I don't... I mean, it's quaint and it's nice. What's Maybe under I here? don't need it. Oh, I could live under here. Sure, sure enough. Oh, this <laughs> wow, plenty of space under here. This is really nice, Scar. I like this spot. For realsies, great. we got to get you yeah. in the real office. This was a joke. This is just Harry Potter's closet. You always <gasps> got to have a Harry Potter closet. Am I right? Y yes, you pranked me again. Scar, I love how you prank me and make me feel scared all the time. You're a wonderful <laughs> mayor. <laughs> Thank you. I am a wonderful mayor. So yes. pick your office so that you can get your work done. This one overlooking the lake shore. I think Ooh. this is nice. I like this view. Uh, I, I would love this office if I could. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And then Joe's across okay. the hall doing his dog things. I, I don't yes. know what the dog things are, but he's he's got some busy work going on over there. I haven't seen many dogs. I feel like he's doing a pretty good job. Oh, you're right. I actually haven't seen the dogs. As mayor now, now that you're mayor, have yes. you kind of thought about, you know, what you'd like to do? That's a great question, Mr. B. Mr. B, I look out over the shopping district. I see chaos. Yeah. 
turmoil, and we're here to fix this. We're here to fix this chaos. Yeah, hire, you could hire the boomers. We could blow the whole thing to King Kingdom Come. Ooh, really? Yes. Hmm, that would be too bad. But I think some people might be a little mad about that. Might keep Maybe me conflict of, of interest, thing. too. Yeah. yeah, that, okay, yeah, let's not do that then. I think what we need to do is we need to write up some plans, get some blueprints, get some designs worked out, and then mm -hmm. we meet back up again with ideas on how to solve the mycelium menace. We gotta destroy it. Right. How's that map coming along? Progress, right? Big progress. Big, 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 great progress? Yeah, big, great progress. I promise, uh, I promise you'll love it when oh. it's done. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. All right. So, yep. I'm gonna go continue my licking of the diamonds. And okay. uh, we'll meet back up in due time and we will, uh, we will tackle the mycelium menace. I am still shocked. <laughs> Unbelievable. So now I'm the uh, Hermitcraft mayor and uh, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> so I'll do what I know best and that is, well, terraform the shopping district, make it look super beautiful. So in the comments, let me know what you guys would like to see me do in the shopping district. I know we had some road designs, things like that, just to give people a taste. But I want to do something special there, so ideas are more than welcome. So what we need to do now, before we do any mayor duties, which will probably come in our next few episodes, we need to build the Mega Drill. That is right. I've been planning this for so very long, and uh, yeah, it's time to build it. So I've got some ideas finally on how we are going to design and build this. But first, we need some materials. <laughs> Harvesting vines has to be one of the more tedious things to do in Minecraft. Let me know in the comments, what is the most tedious thing that you harvest for your builds? I, I'm going to say it's vines for me. It is so tedious, but we've got a decent amount of cobblestone stairs and mossy cobble stairs. We have lots of nothing in this box. And there is our gray terracotta, our more gray terracotta, cyan terracotta, even more gray terracotta, and you guessed it, more cyan terracotta. And we have some water life over here. And then one of these boxes here, we should have... Okay, that's the powder concrete. This must be the hardened concrete. There it is, our great concrete. So these are all the materials that we'll use to... Is that a dog? Oh, I want a dog. I have no dog. We need a dog. We've got some bones now. You will become... I don't know what you'll become. In the comments, let me know what we should name our first dog here on season seven. I'm excited to finally have a dog, but we will put all that aside and take those resources that we have gathered up to start building out the giant drill here. And I've been working out some designs in a test world that I'm very, very excited about. And originally it was just gonna be stone and I'm like, hmm, we can do better than this. And now we've got like three or four different colors, all sorts of crazy patterns and things along those lines. And, uh, the more I look at this thing, the more it looks like a toilet seat. Then it's going to look a whole lot like a toilet seat, especially when we add the little elevator that will be built into that that takes us down into the nether once we've harvested out all of this stone here with our giant drill. And yeah, <laughs> I'm a little apprehensive to start this because it's going to be... Ma oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Good to have you here. Um, it is going to be a massive, massive build here, but... The only way to do massive builds, my friend, is to jump into super fast build mode and build out this massive drill.
and a super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one absolutely massive drill here that is looking pretty cool in the end it was a massive struggle to build this thing i know it looks very simple but getting all the calculations of all the blocks right so we get the nice curves and it matches up on all of its sides hi <laughs> Hello, just drop it in to say hi, nameless dog. Are you guys still working on a name for him? I hope so. <laughs> um, let me get an elytra here. Where were we before we fell out of the sky nearly on top of our brand new dog? I think we were talking about the scale of it and how many mistakes that I made. If you watch that time lapse, you can see there are multiple times where I had to tear this thing down a few times, but eventually we got it and I think it is looking good enough. There's definitely some modifications that we'll make over time, but for now, I'm quite happy with it. The cobblestone walls were a bit tricky in their design because, I don't know, I kept kind of taking them off, adding them, but eventually I think they look good, but I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are on them. Um, the only thing that I may do right now is see this um what is this yeah dark gray all the way down i might split it in two right so there's one here and one there and then they slowly taper to a single line at the tip there i think that could look really cool but we may do that on twitch so make sure you're following me on twitch for when we go live and we do some more modifications to this but where we want to turn our attention is down here at the bottom and at the tip of the drill where we need to refine it a little bit sharpen it up if you will and maybe light this area up because <laughs> I think we created another unintentional mob farm. The unintentional mob farm is now lit up and hopefully mob free. So looking at the bottom of the drill here, it is in definite need of some work right there. Um, but where the dirt is, that's where I want to turn my attention to add something unique as like the very tip of the spear of the drill. So, hmm, maybe dead coral we did get some in case we needed it and there we go i think that tip is looking pretty cool now i may or may not add a little bit more of the dead coral going up a little bit further but for the most part i like it it is casting quite a shadow because of how big it is at the top so it is quite a bit darker at the bottom but i think that gives it a little bit more depth and perspective to the design which i like quite a bit this thing is just ridiculous but i'm pretty happy with it and no, it doesn't look like a giant ice cream cone. So I have a bit of a predicament here. I'm looking for my red sand because I want to turn the strip that goes around the big dig perimeter orange. So it's not just all white, right? So I'm looking and looking and looking and I cannot find it. So temporarily, I did try orange terracotta over there. So I think that actually looks really nice. So here's my theory. We keep the outside hardened, if you will, hardened concrete, hardened terracotta, and in the interior, we have powdered concrete and red sand. We just have to find the red sand, that is. The whole time I thought I put the sand in an orange box because it's orange, not red. Seriously, <laughs> this is driving me crazy. This is orange, this is red. But anyway, I'm happy to find it anyway. I absolutely love the orange terracotta. I think this really brings some life into the structure. Now, you might ask, Scar, why do you keep it as the powdered form in the interior? Well, I just like the texture. I feel like it's a little rougher inside here where the drill is. And the reason why I'm not gonna go powdered concrete and things along those lines is one, it's gonna be cheaper to do the red sand. Also, I like the tone a little bit better. The orange concrete powder is a little too light. So let me put it down and see how it looks in the end. I absolutely love the orange stripe going around the perimeter. The whole time I'm looking at this structure thinking it needs a color, but nothing was quite working. But this is it. It's orange and going with the red sand over the powdered concrete. I think this looks so much better because as I said before, powder concrete is a very pale orange, whereas this is a little bit more striking. And having the interior of the perimeter being a little bit rougher with the powdered concrete and the sand, I think it gives it an extra little bit of texture, whereas on the outside, it is a little bit smoother and it just gives a little bit more variation. Now, the orange also ties in with the command tower. And I'll be honest with you, I think I am more excited about the orange than this absolutely massive drill that we have constructed here. Wow, that looks really cool in the interior. But, so, 
In our next episode, we are going to build the mechanism that controls the drill. So a giant little crane that'll go over, connect to another building with smokestacks and conveyor belts, pulling out all the stuff that we do collect from the nether. And uh, let's get one more perspective from the build here. And yeah, that is looking really cool. Can't wait till we get the render distance on the server a little further out so we can see this in more grandeur. But yeah, <laughs> my favorite thing today is the orange stripe. Wow. Today has been a busy day. We built a absolutely gigantic drill. We also completely changed up the coloring for the big dig. And uh, we also became the mayor of the Hermitcraft shopping district, which to be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous and quite a bit intimidated by the prospect of being the mayor. Hopefully we can live up to our campaign promises of terraforming this area, making it absolutely beautiful, adding pathways and things along those lines. What other was our campaign promises? Oh, cats, that's right. <laughs> We've got to make sure that we get a cat for every hermit. And in the comments, as I said before, definitely let me know what else we should do as mayor here. Maybe we change the currency. Maybe we charge more for plots to bring in more revenue to the coffers of the Hermitcraft uh, Town Hall. So yeah, let me know in the comments what we should do. We will definitely uh, meet up later on with B-dubs and go over some of those fine details, but here is our office. So we need to decorate our office up and make it look nice. And then this, office at the end of the hall. You might be wondering who it would be for, right? We've got Joe, we've got B-dubs, we got mine, and this will be Jellies. That's right, the one, the only Jelly Cat. And I think we'll make this up and uh, she'll absolutely love it in there. Put up some cat things, but uh, yeah. We now uh, rule over the shopping district and we will rule over it with just and, I don't know, think of some kind of uh, platitude. <laughs> But anyway, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today for another episode here on Hermitcraft. And if you enjoyed it, a like rating would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you believe the videos deserve a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life. Mm -hmm.